Baby bus. Let's go share it, Labrador. The secret that lies beneath the sunflowers. Part two. Chubbs the mouse was sitting in Forestville Police Department's interrogation room number two, giving officers information on his boss. Our boss's name is Madcap Jaguar. Hey now, bad rap. Your boss has a bad rap. Uh, no, 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 Madcap Jaguar. His name is Madcap Jaguar, not bad rap. Boss told Nave Tiger and me that some sort of supreme treasure was buried under Sunflower Kindergarten, and the three of us would split it three ways after digging it up. The first time around, our boss sent Nave Tiger to the kindergarten to dig, but he, he didn't find anything. Well, this time around, he sent me, but I didn't find anything either. And unfortunately, you caught me. Oi vey. Chubbs, what does Madcap Jaguar look like? His head is tiny. It's as small as, as a potato. His body is huge. It's, it's as big as, as, uh, as a watermelon. And he likes to wear clothing with bright red stripes. A small head, a big body, and bright red stripes. I feel like I've seen this Jaguar somewhere before. Then where have I seen him? The faces of numerous fugitives raced through Sheriff Labrador's mind, while everything around him seemed to stand still, except for the beat of his heart. Huh? Oh, I got it! Sheriff Labrador's dark round eyes suddenly glistened. Dobie, I need you to get the case file for the jewelry store robbery that happened five years ago in Forestville. Copy that, Lab. A moment later, Officer Doberman, drenched in sweat, came running back with a sheet of information about the case. Hey now, check it out, Lab. Sheriff Labrador took the document and examined it carefully. Then, a piercing gleam flashed into his eyes. One day, five years ago, there was a big robbery at Oinker's Gold Coins and Jewelry. A short jaguar robbed Mr. Pig and the owner stealing a box of big gold bars from his shop. The suspect was an odd-looking animal with a small head and a large body, dressed in bright red stripes. He drove off, heading towards Sunflower Road and disappeared. A short jaguar with a small head and a large body, dressed in bright red stripes. Hey now, the description Chubbs gave us of Madcap Jaguar is identical to that of the eccentric-looking jewelry store robber from five years ago. Yes, you're right. And the robber disappeared and headed towards Sunflower Road. Five years ago, there was a field of sunflowers near Sunflower Road. And not long after that, Sunflower Kindergarten was built in its place. So, could it be? Sheriff Labrador looked through the document again, and his dark, round eyes suddenly glistened. According to the case file, the stolen box of gold bars was never recovered and there has been no trace of the gold anywhere since then. It just completely vanished. Yeah, that's true. If my guess is correct, five years ago, Madcap Jaguar fled to Sunflower Road after robbing Oinker's gold coins and jewelry and making off with a box of gold bars. He then secretly buried the box somewhere along Sunflower Road, intending to dig it up when he returned someday. <laughs> Soon afterward, however, Sunflower Kindergarten was built on Sunflower Road. So to find the box of gold bars buried in the ground, Madcap Jaguar ordered Chubbs the Mouse and Knave Tiger to disguise their identity to enter the kindergarten grounds. Hey now, hey now, it all makes sense. The treasure might be the box of gold bars taken from Oinker's gold coins and jewelry. Exactly. Let's not waste time. We need to go and find out where the box is buried. Uh, but Lab... Both Knave Tiger and Chubbs the Mouse failed to find the gold bars. So where do you think the box of gold bars is hidden? Oh my, the kindergarten property is huge. How are we supposed to know where to begin looking? The amount of search and digging work waiting for them gave Officer Doberman a headache. <laughs> Don't worry, let's question Chubbs the Mouse one more time. 